Well, the Hunt Cup at Sunday at Toaster was uh, a brilliant competition, fantastic dogs in there. We didn't necessarily expect the main headline in the racing post the next day to be about a 40 to 1 winner in Droopy's Test, but that is what happened. And uh, here she is with trainer Phil Barlow. Oh, you must have been proud as punch of her. Yeah, really proud as punch. I mean, it were in a fantastic field. I mean, to our, have St. Ledger first, second, and fourth in field, well, Price said it off. We had no chance. Did you back her? No, uh, lads did. Lads did, and Gary had a tenner, and a couple of lads had a fiver each way. But it's a, look, it's it's nice, it's nice. And if I'd have backed her, I'd have jinxed her. So I just left her alone. Yeah, same as me. Best not to. She she ran really well though. She won on merit. Uh, led nice early, lacking a little bit of middle maybe, but she definitely stays the trip really well too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, if you've watched Havana Love, it. it he stayed that seven tenet um, at Perry Bar really well. Um, and to be fair, I'm not saying she ran away from it, but she, she stayed on well enough to claim first place uh, and stayed on to trip really strong. So um, maybe a future could be over an eight bends. Um, I do like my eight bend dogs, and um, so looking forward to her. She was drawn in trap one then, which looked fine, although I wouldn't say she was in need of it. She's got two for the semi-final. What do you make of that race? Yeah, it's, look, we've, ad we've avoided a lot... Well, I, I wouldn't like to take on Havana Love again, and I wouldn't like to take <laughs> You might have to in the final. Yeah, look, I'd, you've got to... To be, to be the best, you've got to beat the best, and, and they're all good grounds in them all, and I, you've got to be scared of every single one of them in, in semi-final. So... We'll take it one race at a time and um, hopefully she can get on it or do a running and go trouble free. And if she does tr goes around trouble free, um, I think she should qualify. To go all the way, she's probably got to find a little bit of time. Have you got anything in hand with her, do you think? Yeah, I think we have. Yeah. I'd be, I'd be disappointed if we hadn't because, I mean, she had, I think she's had two 500s all the way through uh, September since, since she split her web. Uh, so she should come on. She's, she'd had that run over seven twelve at Toaster. So she, that was the first time stepping up in probably six weeks. So you'd be disappointed if she didn't, didn't come on. So, um, but we'll take it a week at a time. And if if she don't, she don't. But I, I should imagine she will do. We've heard from you what it would mean to make the final. I'm assuming at the owners too. But do you dream about winning the whole thing? Oh, massive. I mean, we dream about winning any Cat 1 or getting to any Cat 1 final. It's it's a dream for us all. And lads were proud as punch. There's, there's lads what's been in it for years and years. And I'd, I'd still City Cup finalists and, and like, Razor Juvenile and Puppy Derby finalists. And they said it's, I, was, I was as proud as that. Sunday as I've been with any, any at races we've been in. So, like, it's nice for them. I have to say, what a lovely bitch as well. She stood here the whole time without a lead on. She's not going anywhere. No, no, she's a grand bitch to have around. Grand bitch to have around. Really sweet and lovely. Uh, just showing a, a bit of attention now. Some dogs are being let out in the paddock. But what a lovely bitch. Droopy's Tessa. Uh, I hope she does it for you. Good luck. Yeah, thank you very much.